I don't really know what this does. Combine. Whoa! My table is on fire. No! Look at that! Yo, the, the sheep is gone. Bye bye. Hey guys, what is up guys? It is me your boy JPlaceP and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video here on the Aquatic Update which just came out some days ago and today we're taking a look on the new part of the game which got added which is the Shame Mystery Update which adds a bunch of cool new blocks and stuffs like we can try out and uh, you can already see some different things you haven't seen ever before in Minecraft so it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of things we can mix up together here in Minecraft I hope you are ready to look at all these cool new features we got and if you are make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe so you don't miss out any new videos here on my channel so I think let's get started all right this is great guys look at all these bunch of cool new stuff we got like look at that this is looking so interesting and oh my goodness uh basically we got a lot of cool new stuff which i'm gonna introduce you a bit now so i think we should start with those four blocks here the first one we got here is this one here which is known as the material reducer so i don't really know what it does exactly but if you open that you can see a lot of new designs like you can put a lot of stuff in it i'm really not sure what it does the second one we got here is the lab table here which looks pretty interesting for me so this one is actually um making us able to design and mix um or combine different things and use our own experiments here in minecraft which i guess is pretty cool like it's the, like the crafting table but more for science projects instead of just making blocks and stuff which is great and then we got the compound creator here which also looks different so that is interesting look at all these designs i have the feeling that this is like the minecraft education um a version but look at this one. Oh my gosh this is the element constructor like you can read already from the title and it built elements by choosing a number of protons and electrons and neutrons which is great so I think this one is actually looking really oh my gosh oh my gosh I can look at what this does oh my goodness so I have no idea what I'm doing all right I'm super bad at this but I guess you guys can get something from this like all right here I'm sure we will be able to do this stuff oh this one looks really mystery like oh okay really cool but you guys can see we got a lot of them some weird names on yeah and uh, there's so many of them and we're already able to do some own um like own science projects here on which like shows us this one here all products in the description and this map is already also created by Kenzaki 190 who did this map uh, to showcase it and um, I think we should just start with the balloon so in this update we are able to get a balloon by using this um, crafting recipe in the crafting table like you have to get um, helium I guess uh, let's try to find it I'm not sure um yeah it is so you need helium to make it fly and uh, then you need strings and then the red color and this glasses patterns i don't really know what this is supposed to be i don't really know where it is i think it's somehow like a bottle oh there we go it is a latex okay so that's what all we need but let's take it quick and um all we need to make a balloon but i guess i have already one in my hands like that uh, I'm not sure if we can use it. If you go to the reset reset part here, you can put on the helium in the middle, then the red color above it, and this one all around it like that. Um, oh, I don't have enough. Can you just give me one of them? Oh, like that. And then the string uh, down, down below it, and you got the red balloon. So I'm not sure how to get the balloon in your hands. That's weird. I am not sure exactly how to get it. Maybe we can put it on this one. No! Look at that! Yo, the, the sheep is gone! Bye bye! This is great! Alright, let's get um animal here as a test object here. Bye bye! Oh my gosh! 
We can maybe shoot the balloon by hitting the bow. Oh no, I just got... <gasps> it's still flying! Yo! How fast! This is great! I'm sure we can put it on the fences. Not really sure though, so we'll try it out. Put it here and put it on... The... Oh, No, <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> so... Oh, it is! Oh, it is working! Cool! Alright, I'm not sure how to hold it in the hands, but I think we're able to shoot... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we're able to shoot it with an arrow. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, they're super fast actually. Like, just go ahead and spawn a bunch of cows here. Look at this. Have you seen ever flying cows in Minecraft? Can we push the balloons? No, we can't. They're gonna... Oh, they're somehow moving. Oh, that's super cool. Bye-bye, baby cow. Look at the baby. Oh my gosh, that looks super fun. Of course, we are not only able to make balloons, we're also able to make stuff like this one. So I'm not sure what this is. Another thing we can actually craft is this here. So I'm gonna go and take all this stuff to use them for my crafting receipt. Ah, uh, I need that thing here. Where do I find this? Let's see if we can find it here in the inventory, which seems a little bit like it's not gonna be easy at all. <laughs> so, no, no. It seems like we can't get them from the inventory, that's interesting. So it means we have to craft them uh, by using those uh, new blocks here. So, um, let's just get it from a different chest. So, here we go. And now let's go into the crafting table here, where it is, um, there we go. And uh, put it into it, so to see what it does exactly. I actually forgot how we're supposed to put it in. That, and that's what I want to take back, of course. So we got this thing here, a uh, red sparkler, so I'm not sure what... We can eat it? Oh, I think I know what this is. Alright, uh, this is a red sparkle, like, if you got this thing here, and if you keep shaking it, it should turn into this one. Alright, so I'm not really sure if it makes your place lighter or if it just gives you particles, but this one looks pretty cool, like you can move it around. Oh my gosh, look at that, I'm looking like a wizard now. Look at the magic, ma. That's really cool. Uh, we can't place it, we can just hold it in our hand. Still looking dark, I don't know if it's supposed to make it a bit brighter here. And, of course, we also got now different colors of torches, which is amazing. So let's just pick up one of those torches here. And uh, to craft it, we have to um, put the torch in the middle and this weird little thing down. Alright, ready guys? Let's see what we get. A red color. So let's put it down here again. And place it. It is red. Of course, it is red, alright, but the color of the ground is still like the normal color, so it doesn't really change or affect any colors of the fire, like, just the part of the glowing thing is red, you see, it's not yellow, instead of yellow, it's red. So that's the only thing it does. And what we also can do is, this here, this torch is maybe really special, this one actually works underwater. So if you use these two um, materials and combine them like this one, like the torch in the middle and uh, the magnesium, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, magnesium on the top, I actually really remember what this one was. So that's really cool. Uh, but anyways, if you put that into crafting table like that, you'll be able to get water torches, which I can show you really quick. It's the same as normal torches, but... Look at that, they're working underwater, so I think that's incredible, like, the, I've never seen any torches in the water down below, and now it's actually possible, so that's really cool if you want to have torches underwater, a pretty cool update. What we also can create is, if we use um, TNT and um, sodium together, we can create underwater, like, you can actually turn it on underwater, so it will still work. So let's just do it quick, because this one looks, looks really interesting. Where do we have to put it? Oh, it's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, there we go, there we go. Let's maybe also take um, flint and steel, and I think we should be good. I'm not sure if we can also use flint and steel underwater, so it would make a bit sense. But here is how the underwater TNT looks like, and oh, it works, okay. It does work, like it is amazing. We can use now underwater TNT to get stuff on, 
Like, that's really cool. So for the aquatic update, I think that's really useful now. See how... Oh my gosh! It works! That's really cool. And I'm actually interested in seeing if it works also um, on top of the ground, like on normal places here. Yes, it does. But if we use the normal TNT, that shouldn't work, right? So I'm gonna test it also out. And... No! It doesn't! Alright, this is great! Like, you know, I think this TNT is much better now because you can use it underwater and also on the top. But that's really cool, like, you guys can mix up blocks and uh, stuff together to get some cool new pretty cool features. And uh, now we got some other cool stuff here on this table here, like what we can craft, I guess. And this is seeming like a snowball or ice ball. I remember. The interesting part about this is you can't actually find or get them from wherever you want. Like you can't just get to the inventory and get them because you have to craft them together. Which makes it actually really interesting to play on. And I don't really know what this does combine. Whoa! My table is on fire! My table is just on fire! What in the world did just happen? Oh my gosh, I just broke my table. It is burning. So this is what happens when I'm on my table. Like, I'm not good at science and that's always happening to me. Like, when I do or try to combine or mix something, it will literally just explode <laughs> like this one. So um, this is my skills I got in science. Because it was looking so great, I'm just gonna try it again. Whoa! Actually, it just dropped something. I created something. Oh my god. I just put some of them together and then just got rubbish. Alright, we got some new potions on. Which kind of looks like cosmetic articles. Like, they look kind of weird. So, I'm not sure if we are able to use them or... I'm not really into that part. So, it is actually really... Yeah, I know. Um, complicated for somehow. And of course, there is a website you guys can check out to actually get into this part all. And this one. Yo! Look at that. This is an ice ball. We can freeze the water with throwing this here on the ground. Like, it will freeze the water really quick. Really quick, like, if you walk on it. That's really cool. Like, you can put on that thing if you don't want to swim. So you can put them here. Like, it's, it's now looking like a parkour. There are so many cool things you can do and I'm sure in the future we are able to do much much more but for now these are some of the cool features you got in the aquatic update or in the chemistry update here in Minecraft Pocket Edition and let me know what you think about it. Should I do more videos about this uh, trying to mix up stuff together or should I just do more about the aquatic update? So I think this is a really cool update like you guys can play Minecraft and at the same time you guys can learn about science and if you have any tricks or maybe some uh, tips at how I can improve my science uh, skills make sure to let me know that in the comments because that was a mess today because I probably am not able to make my own stuff here. You guys could already see what happened when I tried to mix up some stuff. It, or it, I just set my table on fire. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And also make sure to make yourself also a bit here uh, some cool science projects in Minecraft Pocket Edition on the Bedrock Edition. But make sure to not set your desk on fire like I did since it's really dangerous so make sure to not burn your house down so be carefully with those science projects anyways if you did enjoy make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video so peace out